I think you might have noticed that we happen to be living in a global pandemic. And uh, when you think about it, these are historical times because the last global pandemic happened 100 years ago with the Spanish flu. This particular pandemic is also a respiratory illness and it affects primarily the lungs. So if you have it, then it's a disease that goes down your, your trachea, your bronchi, and your lungs. It primarily affects people who are elderly. Although if you're younger, then you might get a slightly less severe disease, but unfortunately, you can pass it on to our elders. And that's why it is so important in this pandemic to be protecting the elderly, to be protecting our elders. Now, these viral particles, they hang out in droplets in the air, which come out as we talk and breathe. And one way to pre prevent its spread is actually very simple. We just need to stay away from each other. So as long as we stay about six feet away from each other, or two meters, then we can effectively prevent the spread of COVID-19. But as this disease makes its way in somebody's lung and all across Canada, particularly in BC and Ontario, then the question remains, how are we going to be doing school? How do we do classroom learning in the global pandemic? Well, your teachers have been working really hard to figure that out. And the main method that we are going to be used, using is actually going to be MS Teams, right? That's Microsoft Teams. We're gonna be using that method to make contact with you, the student. And what that means is we have to get all of you into a team. You're gonna find out how each of your teachers are going to be part of some kind of team and you you will have a team for all of your subjects and hopefully in this way even though we are apart we can stay together as a school community and as a school community, we can protect our community and protect our elders, and particularly to protect our healthcare workers, because our healthcare workers are on the front lines of this. They are there to, to protect you and to be with you if you ever become sick from this. And our health authority is working really, really hard to make sure that there are enough hospital beds for everyone. And what you can do is to do your part by staying home.